Hey, welcome back guys. This is Tyler with Orion's Tactical. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, today's video is going to be on aftermarket Glock sights. Uh, these in particular are the Zev Technologies. Um, it's a fiber optic front and a blacked out rear sight. As you can see here, I've got the green. It's on the right side here in my Glock 17. And then over here I've got a red in my Glock 26. Uh, these are really good sights. Um, everybody knows that the stock Glock sights are plastic or a polymer, so they're really kind of cheap. Uh, Glock really needs to improve on that. Um, if they could just get some steel sights going, maybe you wouldn't have to replace sights. Maybe you would. Who knows? Uh, but I really like these. Um, when you get these sights, they'll come in a package that looks like this. It'll have your front and rear sight. It'll give you an Allen wrench, and you get two replacement rods. Um, the Allen wrench, what that is for, I'll go ahead and show you here. There's a set screw on your back sight. So whenever you get your sight lined up and you get it zeroed, they uh, give you a set screw so you can torque it down. That way it doesn't have any chance of shifting on you. Um, when you put these rear sights in, you see it's got kind of like that dovetail notch. They make a tool that clamps around your slide and it'll push the sight out and you can push your new one in. So uh, once you get it in there, it's pretty snug. So I don't think that they would slide on you, but that set screw is just a little bit of reassurance that it's not gonna move. So I'll just start talking about the rear sight here. Um, first off, I wanna mention that it's got a nice little ledge on it. There's actually one at the front here <clears throat> and one at the back. So if you needed to do a one hand manipulation, you can hook on that. Uh, you can grab it on like a belt buckle, your belt, your holster, your boot, um, anything that you need to so you can get that one hand manipulation these sights will hook right into it so they work really well for that also on the back you see it's got these serrations in it and all those are for is uh, to cut back from glare so you can see all these little serrations that run across whenever you're shooting uh, that'll, if the sun were to hit it, you won't have any glare or reflections or anything like that coming back at you. So here's a little, little bit of uh, what the sight picture looks like. You got a really nice notch there on the back. You can see it's a big, nice big notch. And there's kind of what the front sight post looks like. A little bit of a sight picture for you. And these guns are not loaded, so don't worry. I guess I could show you. They're empty, empty mag. So, so there's kind of a sight picture. If I can get it to focus again. So you got a got a good size notch. Of course, when it's out further from you, um, it's not going to look so big but you do have a good amount of light around it. The front sight post, if I can get it to focus in for you. Here we go. Um, it's pretty deep, the fiber rod, so you, you really don't have to worry about dropping this and breaking those. I guess it is possible, but the way these are designed, you've got a lot of room uh, you'd really have to drop it like on a rock or something that could get down in there in order to break that. The front sight post does have the same serrations on it. You can see them there. So it does have the same uh, serrations as the rear just for the glare. Um, really, really nice set of sights. These are good for uh, people that don't have the best vision, uh, maybe older shooters. Uh, me, I'm a younger shooter, but I still like these sights. You can pick up on them really quick. 
Uh, you can get really good uh, quick sight picture with them. A lot of competition shooters use these for that reason. You can pick up on that front sight really good. And uh, your blacked out rear, it's not going to distract you or anything like that. These are standard height sights. Um, I'll go ahead and show you how to go about installing the front sight. All you do is just disassemble your slide. And if you look right down in there, trying to get the camera to focus again. But if you look right down inside here, that screw, that's what holds your sight in. They actually make these sight tools. I got one here, Squirrel Daddy. Uh, I think I got it on Amazon. Wasn't very expensive. I'm not sure what size that is. But you just get that down in there, hook it on, take your old sight out, it'll just pop right off. And then when you put your new sight in, I would recommend that you use Loctite. Uh, you're going to want to get the blue Loctite. That way, from the, the recoil, it will make screws loosen up, even on rifles, pistols, anything with a screw, always Loctite it. Use the blue Loctite, that way you can loosen it back up if you need to. So yeah, it's pretty simple to install the back. Um, if you don't have a sight tool to, to slide that out with, it could give you a little trouble. All right, here is the red. Um, I really, really like the red, especially for outdoors. The green seems to be a little brighter. You can kind of see it there, side by side. So it seems to be just a little bit brighter. Not by much, but um, maybe just a, a tad bit brighter. You can kind of see it there. Uh, but outside, these things really, really shine outside. But um, I think the red shows up a little better outdoors. Uh, the green, uh, I guess it's just kind of a natural outside color. So I think the red picks up a lot better. So I like the red, but the green does have its uses. Uh, but like I said, they do send you two spares so you can pick what color you want. And the front sight will come with a fiber rod in it. And I do believe they all come with red. So you'll have a red to start with. Then you'll have a spare red and an extra green. And of course you can always get extra rods if you want to. Uh, you could probably even get different colors like yellow. Um, who knows what all kinds of colors they got. But these are really nice sights. Standard height. Nice steel sights, won't have to worry about them breaking. Uh, you do have the set screw. So uh, you can tighten that down, give yourself a little reassurance, especially if you're racking off that rear sight a lot. Um, like I said, I don't think they would slide loose, but that's just an extra bonus. So uh, yeah, guys, I think that's about all I've got for you. Uh, again, these are the Zev Technologies, fiber optic front, blacked out rear, standard height. Uh, the front sight, the orange, or uh, well, the red kind of looks orange, you can see there. But when you look at it through the rod itself, it's a really nice red. So if you get it and it looks orange, don't worry, it is a nice bright red. Um, I really like the red. Now when it comes to if you were to break one of these and you need to replace it. Um, or if you just want to replace it to a different color. You can just cut this with fingernail clippers and slide each end out. Get your new rod and just slide it in from one end and leave a little bit of slack on it about like that. And get a cigarette lighter and just burn the end and it'll melt and kind of shrivel up and open up and that's what causes it to stay 
Um, it's almost like paracord. If any of you guys have worked with paracord, when you burn the ends, it kind of mushrooms out. And that's what causes it to not come untied. It's kind of the same concept with these. Um, but once you get it through about like that, you burn the tip off. And then you want to take the other end with your fingernail clippers and just cut it at the angle of the front sight. So if the front sight is kind of angled up like this, you want to cut it at an angle up like that. So you leave a little bit on the, the front about like this. Then you take your cigarette lighter, burn it, and it'll kind of just shrink and mushroom up. And you can see there, I replaced uh, the red and put it in this pistol. If I can get it to kind of focus for you. You can see how it kind of mushrooms out. And this one I left a little too much slack on. That's why it's a lot wider. But that's not going to really matter. It's just going to make your dot look bigger. So if I compare these two. This came from the Zev factory. So comparing the two. You can see that the green is a little bit bigger. And that's just because I left a little too much slack on it. Uh, when I melted it. So as long as you leave a little bit and you melt it and it covers the hole, you won't have to worry about it pulling back out. Uh, one thing to note, I did run a ported barrel on this Glock 17, and that's why I had to change my red fiber optic rod. My ported barrel, the ports were shooting up and the gases were blowing back and it actually burnt my fiber optic rod. So that's one thing to note. If you are planning on uh, getting these fiber optic sights, be careful with those ported barrels because they will cinch these and it will turn them black and you will not be able to see them. It'll basically just be like a black front sight post. So just be careful of that. I'll go ahead and give you guys another close up. Uh, I think I pretty much covered everything I wanted to with these. Really, really nice sights, durable. Uh, you won't have to worry about hurting these things. They are uh, a good set of sights. They look good. Uh, like I said, you got plenty of plenty of room there to do one hand manipulations with. You won't have to worry too much about breaking these because it does dip down a little bit there. So uh, it would really take like a gravel or something like that to kind of crack that. I think these sights will cost about 80 bucks. Um, that includes the rear sight with the set screw, the front sight. Um, it also comes with a screw to actually mount it. Then you get your three fiber optic rods. One of them will already be installed. And then you get your Allen wrench. And it'll all come in this little pack. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's going to be about it for this video. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, like I said, I really do like these sights. A lot of people go with night sights and things like that. And night sights are fine. I've just never been a fan of them. I like the nice bright fiber optic front. Uh, especially for daytime. But even in the nighttime, if you've got a pistol mounted light, you still will get a good sight picture with these. Uh, so yeah, guys, I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit that like button. If you're new here, go subscribe. We've got a new video coming out each week. And until the next one, this is Tyler with Orion's Tactical. You guys take it easy.